Just the back and forth a minute. Oh. And there's a big rock. Here comes Romero. Oh. What a pull counter. There we go. We have there it a is. champion, ladies and gentlemen. Your champion. Nigeria, Super Sadiq Youssef taking on Diego Lopez this weekend at UFC 300. Had a barn burner of a fight with Edson Barboza, so he's looking to rebound. Oh my god. Alright, bro. This is the third time I fought, I fought you in two weeks. This is You're officially banned from getting showcased on my channel. It's going to be the last time I fight you. My lord. This guy's like a rank demon. No matter what time I get on, he's always on. I get on at night time, I get on in the morning, afternoon, he's just always on. God damn. Anywho. Sadiq Yusuf taking on Diego Lopez, which is sure to be a firefight. I don't think it's going to go to a decision. I really I really don't think so. Diego Lopez just has something about him that just wants to have fire. If he's in a full camp fight, that man is ready to scrap. However, even though I don't think the fight's gonna go to a decision. Part of that is also because of the threat that Sadiq Yusuf carries in his hands. He has a nasty right hand counter, especially when he slips to the inside, fires off the right hand. He also has some beautiful kicks. His, his body front kicks are nice. Denied that. His calf kicks are ex exceptionally wonderful. He used them pretty well against known kicker Edson Barboza, as well as trying to utilize the clinch too. Trying to get some cage work here. Does a good job denying that. Just trying to put a little bit of pressure. He doesn't really look to grapple too much. Like, he'll grapple opportunistically. He got a takedown, I believe, on Edson Barboza. And I forgot the Alex Caceres took down Alex Caceres, too. And he's a pretty decent four-and-a-half-star pick. If you use him right or if you match up well, like, he, he matches up well against a lot of <laughs> a lot of the four stars, like, say, Danny Gay, Calvin Cater, if you use him just right. Good power sitting up 94. And he has a pretty... Pretty decent character model. I don't, I don't know if it should be a little bit smaller, but that's just right. I'm gonna have to double check. But his character model, like he, he looks huge for the weight class. But he did uh, have. A, I remember uh, he lost to Arnold Allen. That was a real tight one. That was one that a lot of people had expected him to win. He's had a couple of. Uh, he had a nice KO win in the UFC. There's uh, the stand the guillotine win that he got in round one, which is why he has a level three guillotine. He's going to try to get some clinch work here. And he's also pretty funny. <laughs> he knows how to play the Twitter game pretty well. Does a lot of uh, good work in the YouTube media. I think the funniest thing, not the funniest thing, but something that made me chuckle was when uh, he released his fighter picks after <laughs> after the UFC pay-per-view had ended. And he's like, you can't be wrong if you say it after the event. I'm like, that dude's funny. He's funny. You can tell he's a student of the game. He loves the sport. Hmm. He loves the sport, and he's looking. He's looking to be the be the guy to give uh, Diego Lopez another loss, because the only loss that Diego Lopez has in the UFC is against Mosfar Evloev, who I have to showcase. But I, I got to do all those showcases after the car, like the new fighter showcases, nine fighters that they added last week. It's a lot. It's a lot. But Diego Lopez has lost before. He's 23-6, and six, if I recall correctly. So it's not like he's this immovable force that's impervious to losing. The thing is, too, in his losses, his four losses have been by decision. Right? He doesn't really win 
by decision. He has two wins by decision, if I recall correctly. The rest out of uh, Diego's 23 wins, knockout and submission. And knowing Sadiq Yusuf, if he watches a lot of film, I think his goal is going to be obviously to defuse Diego Lopez. And he has a lot of good tools. So a cool little thing that he also likes to do, I'm trying to remember the name of the kick. Somebody can remind me in the comment section. But he was kicking to the back leg of Edson Barboza, akin to like another kick, uh, well-known kickboxer. I'm just drawing a blank, <laughs> trying to fight and recall names and whatnot. But he was kicking to the back leg of Edson Barboza, which was really, really cool. Let's land that hook. Only other issue, too, is that his health does not recover as well as a lot of the other four-and-a-half-star fighters in this game. I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. Like, it's a weird thing. He's also, uh, his cut resistance is not the greatest as we get cut there. All right, brother. You've grappled with me many times before, but I, I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm really trying to showcase my shit on the feet. I mean, I can grapple if I need be. I can grapple if I need be, but I'm really not. I'm not trying to do all that right now. Are we ducking upper hook counter? I mean, I'm going to have to if he does anything crazy. But, ooh. Pull that right in time. He has a nice animation to, for the lead overhand. There we go. Another leg kick lands. But Sadiq Yusuf. So it's a pretty pivotal, pivotal moment for him to take on an opponent like Diego Lopez. I don't think Diego Lopez is ranked, but he did. Uh, he should be ranked. To be honest, I think I think he should be ranked. Like he should be, honestly. Like I know he lost the most far, but his skill set it, it is deserving of a ranking. He defeated Pat Sabatini, who's on a solid side of win streak. Prior to that, I would think it was against uh, Gavin Tucker. Gavin Tucker was like 13-2 and two before Diego Lopez obviously coming off with a loss to Dan Ige. But he is... Yeah, he's going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem for sure. I think for Sadiq, it's going to be a lot of work off the jab, a lot of his inside calf kicks, intercepting calf kicks, deciding when he's going to play on edge akin to how he did to uh, Edson Barbosa when he's going to pressure. It is interesting to note, too, that um, he did get hurt. God damn it. <laughs> he did get hurt against Edson Barbosa, sustained an injury. I forgot where he got injured, but I remember he did get injured early within round one and two, and that could have affected things exponentially because he looked, looked great. Lots of body uppercuts, lots of clinch work. He looked solid, but Edson Barbosa found a way. He found a way to defeat my boy. And it was uh, good for Edson. Good for Edson because he got a nice little featherweight buff. Well, it was like a double buff fight. So that was, that was pretty good. I'm doing a good job managing the stamina. Evening out the head off a bit. Body tip converts into a knee. To close the round. Alrighty. That's a tight one. That's a tight one. A little eye injury. The eye injury is definitely a going to be a problem because it means I won't be able to exchange as much as I would like. Even with a stamina advantage, I don't want to risk uh, the Volkanovski being able to land on that side and get that extra damage that he needs. Don't really need all that. Although I still feel like I won that round. I feel like I did a pretty good job overall, but it could be tied. It could be I Sometimes, I know they already proved to me that none of the stuff is random per se, but I didn't feel like he landed a lot of strikes on me in that spot to begin with. I mean, then again, it's not really... I mean, anything can happen from just one strike with these gloves, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm just chatting. Mama huevo. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Ooh, that was nice. Fading to the high kick. Players have gotten so much better. Oh, Thank God it was on my rear, rear side. Oh, no. Players have gotten so much better. Unfortunately, they still make little mistakes like that. With how much info is out nowadays, and then add all the info and a lot of free time that a lot of these dudes seem to have. Although, I will say, sometimes when I'm playing ranked, I'm convinced I'm playing the same... Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm playing the same person on, like, just three, four different accounts because they all play, like, robots. I swear. Ooh, the camera angle kind of changed a bit. 
Interesting. That should not have landed on my block. What's his freaking toes? Ooh, this is a nice, this is a nice little angle here. I kind of like it. A little bit, a little bit spaced out, but I can rock with it. Hmm. There's a, there's a nice little angle here. Okay, Sadiq. Oh, I was royally fucked up. Oh, that, that body jab, lead hook to the head. Everybody and their mama does that shit now. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find. Motherfucker. No, 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 no. I am not going to let you block break me, dog. That's not going to happen. It's much harder to do in this patch, but with that cut symbol, that cut icon, I ain't taking no, no chances. That was a nice four piece, but I'm gonna take you down for your troubles. All right, Sadiq. All right, he's probably gonna reverse us. Oh no, he did not. We denied it. Yeah, fuck. Ah, oh, I didn't win that because of the GA. It's cool. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I mean, we have a nice stam lead. Oh, he's going to have to get up. Man. Okay. <laughs> With the amount of stamina I had, bro, that was not a smart idea. Elbow. And we rocked him. Arm triangle. And just like that. Whoo, his long-term stamina is low. Nailing this little submission attempt here. It's not going to do much to Volk. I mean, his stamina is low. He mismanaged his stamina real bad in this three-rounder. Because Volk has a lot of stam. Nah. All right. All right. I think we should take this. We should take this. I see... 29 28 29 28 probably I mean, we did it we did a really good job that first round why are you showing us shots that he blocked that i blocked oh 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 that's not good that's not good okay we got it you know what i'm gonna say they gotta change this animation i don't like that uh that animation does give it away that like all right, once they're showing the fighter, like, you know you won. 29-28. Okay. I'll take it. That's a good first fight. Dude, this, I hope this is the last time I ever fight you. I'm not showcasing another fight against this guy. I fight this guy way too much. I'm Volkanovski, now we take on Ilya Topuria. Está bien, está bien. Todavía te voy a dar cocotazo, Topuria. Sadiq Yusuf. Now, by now, you guys should have seen my Diego Lopez showcase, so that, it was a really fun showcasing Diego Lopez, and as I was, like, using Diego Lopez, I'm like, man, he, he the fact that dude is unranked is insane, and props to Sodiq for actually taking that fight. The more I, got, I was watching film on both of these fighters, like, that is, this entire card, UFC 300, is one of the best cards that we've had in recent memory. I don't know why. People complain so much about the main event because the main event's also a nasty one. And I still haven't uh, gotten to the showcases uh, for the main card just yet. Still trying to get through all the prelims. As well as uh, other things that are going to be added soon. So, so with Sadiq Yusuf on the outside, as we kind of showcased pretty well against that uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. Kicks on the outside work pretty well. And against Tupuria, and especially Volkanovski, with their power and their health, anything you can do to try to level the playing field, you, you gotta stick to it. The calf kick especially. I'm gonna chalk that up to Eves. Try sneaking the head kick there. Oh, was it because I was holding the right stick in that direction? Okay, we get out. Use the clinch to diffuse some of this pressure. Pressing forward a lot on his shots. Like almost every single shot that he's going for is kind of pressing forward. I'm going to wait a little bit before I commit to anything crazy. See that? Like everything's always kind of like lunging forward. It does kind of make the startup look similar for a lot of the shots. But being that we're trying to play clean, 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 clean as possible. As I always try to emulate the fighters to the way that they fight. Depending on their phases. 
That's what we gotta stick to. So we'll wait a little bit too. There we go. Calf kick. Checks that one, but doesn't register, unfortunately. Yeah, the calf kick lands. Mmm. That confidence in the character stat is why this guy stay <laughs> is why this guy's staying right here. He's like, yeah, I got Taporia. I got all the power in the world. I don't care what you throw back at me. Even though Sadiq has 94 power, he's not really respecting it much in a five-round fight, which is absurd. But it's cool. That's how fights work. Not every fight ends in round one. Mm. Let's go to the body jab. We body hook as well. Slowly. <laughs> I was going to say slowly, but surely. Working our way to a stamina advantage where we cannot afford to be whiffing. Oh, you should have pulled that. You would have rocked my shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. N no. N no. No. W once I start seeing somebody starts to... So I get a little bit combo happy at the end. No, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start trading. I'm gonna start trading with you, man. I gotta start trading. Great round, close one. Nice. <laughs> okay, close one. Close one. Nice striking. Good fight. Good fight. I like what I'm seeing. Taporia does have that kind of stalkerish approach where he's just slowly waiting in. He presses forward one strike. Very little te telegraph on a lot of his shots. Leaves himself open like any other fighter that throws a shot. Leaves himself open to certain things when he's throwing his hooks, but for the most part, he, is, he has pretty, pretty clean defense. Touch him up. Stick to the game plan. Oh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Mixing in the, the, the grappling. I've said uh, for a while with uh, Tapuria, the difference between... Him, Jose Aldo, <laughs> Conor McGregor, and, and Alexander Volkanovsky is his submission offense on the ground. People forget that he submitted Bryce Mitchell. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's not just some heavy-handed individual that won the belt. He is dangerous everywhere. On top of having good cardio, on top of having crazy good health stats in a division, it's what makes him super, super dangerous to face off against. If you try to grapple with um, Aldo, you got to really play like the arm triangle type of game with him. The arm triangle is his best submission. He uses it a lot to press and pass. Bo Bokanovsky, a lot of kind of sitting in the side control and then looking to posture up in half guard. Max Holloway is not really too big on a... I mean, if he gets you on the ground, he's going to ground and pound the shit out of you. If he gets in a mount position or back mount. But you're not really, look, you're not really worried about too much submission-wise. That all changes with Taporia. And with Sadiq Yusuf, I don't have... My best submission is uh, level 3 guillotine. So, unless I'm in full in full guard... I ain't got shit on my back. No, it doesn't do much. <gasps> okay, doesn't get... I kind of feel like he should have got that. I'm saying, I mean, obviously it's great for me that I defended it. But I feel like he should have at least got a turn initiated off of that. He shot right under my hook. There you go. That lead leg, that choppy choppy. Otra vez. Tupuria. No tiene miedo, Tupuria. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was even nicer. God damn. <laughs> I thought he was going to go forward. It's all right. He's trying to go for the one-two head kick. I see the vision. Mm-hmm. It's all right. We'll initiate... We gotta initiate something. We gotta initiate something. That's my rule of thumb. Initiate something, just so they know. I don't have to really commit to anything here. I know Tapuria has a nice guillotine. He has a good submission offense stat too. But with a minute left in the round, ho ho ho, uh, yeah, and we got stacked. Oh, Tapuria, not like this. <laughs> oh shit, motherfucker. Hold on. Fake that. <laughs> you thought, my boy. There we go. That's, how about that for some heel hook defense? And that is why when you're the person defending, you fake. You fake so you don't lose as much stamina when you get denied. Gives you a fighting chance if you get denied when the short-term stamina drain is happening and your stamina recovers faster 
than the person that just denied your fake when you are the defender. You understand what I'm saying? For all you people that haven't checked out my submission guide that got released within the first day of the game being dropped for early access, go ahead and watch that again. Good ground and pound, too. Finish off that round. It's good grappling, too. Got some nice takedowns. It's good. It's good. It's good. Round three. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Tee off. Tee off and go crazy. I'm tired of sitting around. Mm -mm. Not today. I <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> trying to get a little bit. Just trying to get aggressive. I don't want to sit around. I've been showcasing so many fires. This is the most I've uploaded in one instance in a week. So many fighters. Mm hmm. There we go. Al cuerpo. This is where body work becomes super important here. So kind of work off the head. Back to attacking the lead leg. Oh, he's not comfortable fighting in southpaw. Oh, 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 oh. Block counter. Not today. Let's go. Yeah, this is uh, it's a massacre now. Jujitsu. Ah, of course he raced out of it. That guillotine is so easy to race out. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. We're due to make a, a bad decision every now and then. Fuck. Double fuck. Uh, actually. Oh, we're good here. Watch this. I'm out. The thing is, the moment that his stamina hits zero, that is when you start your transition, because then it cannot be denied while his stamina is recovering. That's a key, key thing. And when somebody has a significantly low stamina like this on the ground, I ain't got no concerns. Them, the chance of them subbing me is going to be very, very low. No, good job denying that. <laughs> We're going to be able to initiate a submission of our own. That's going to do damage to the block, too. See, go back mount. That bueno, that bueno. Let's go over the heel hook. Motherfucker, you got it. Let's go we'll race, 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 race. I'm going to bank it on the race. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, Eve's this camera. Mm hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's a 10 8. That's a 10 8. Knocked down. Almost finished him with a submission. Overwhelmed him with strikes. Now, it's a three round fight against Diego Lopez. I don't know about all that happening, but if I see any finish happening between those two, it's going to happen in round three. I'm really confident on a round three finish. For this Taporia, like, Taporia's cardio is. As good as it is, too. It's kind of crazy his stamina's gotten this low. I mean, a lot of it came down to our defensive actions. Respect nice striking. Thank you for being a good sport. Nice grappling, too. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. I respect that. I respect that. I respect the sportsmanship. Sometimes you just got to give some credit. Everybody takes an L. Touch the glove. And let me see if I can put you out your misery. Ay, ay, ay. Eh, este tipo está muerto. Oh, brother. Not the lunging front kick. Oh, no. Not like this, Tupuria. Not like this, Tupuria. Forgive me, Tupuria. <laughs> Forgive me. I was hoping that would land. His power is diminished. We've landed 22% more strikes. 
The head movement is on point. The Nigerian magic is working well. The body health is flashing. Eves, we're going to have to buff that by frame. Press forward again. Hmm. No. <laughs> I mean, I kind of got this fight won. There we go. There we go. The body health is dwindling. Mm-hmm. Not today, not today. We gonna knock out like this? No? Okay, fire off. Elbow. Body hook. Oh, did I win? Well, I hit you with that shit too. I set the nose. Oh yeah, this fight's done. Yep, this fight's done. All right. I mean, he survived for as long as he did. Part of it's because he wasn't giving me too much to work with around the end portion. I guess he kind of figured the fight was done. But that's gonna be it for Super Sadiq Yusuf, who's taking on Diego Lopez at UFC 300. This entire card is stacked with absolute killers in each one of their divisions. I'm real. I'm gonna be watching every single fight. Very rarely do I actually watch every single fight on a card, starting from that Garber and Figueroa one. But that's gonna be it for Super Sodic Yusuf, Mayor Seventeen. I appreciate y'all. Much love. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. I'm out of here.